Welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me today. Today, we're going to be distracting ourselves from Arena for a few minutes. And I hope that you'll be distracted too. So what we're going to do today is paint ourselves a happy little silver centurion. Now, I have my canvas primed and prepped, ready to go. Join with me, will you? Whether you have Photoshop yourself, Microsoft Paint, or just a plain piece of copy paper and crayons. We all can have ourselves a good little time now. Now I have a list of the materials I'm flashing across the bottom of the screen so you and I both can be using the same thing for this grind. Now join in with me now, will you? Now we're going to start ourselves off here just drawing a happy red circle. Bright, flashy, a lot of shine to it, especially with this animations and all the lights and colors really pops off of the frame really makes you see the character my kudos off to the art team for making a character like this as flashy and interesting as possible good work guys but just like with most things in life you gotta complement the bright and the flashy with a bit of the gray dull and the mundane. Some people would say that this is a sad thing, a bad thing, something that we should stay away from. But if all you have is flash and not a little bit of grounding to bring your character back down to earth, well, well then you don't have yourself a very interesting character anymore, do you? So we add a bit of the dull mundane with the rotation, difficulty, and keeping up and maintaining his best abilities just to offset some of the flashy color but just when it seems like the dull and the tired difficulty of a character's new kit winds up seeming like it's going to overwhelm the bright new happy intrigue of a new tech champion finally after all this time and you cut through all that negativity with just a spike more of happy little widow's peak consummate v to remind us that things are still going to be okay. It still is a new character. If nothing else, even if he is a bench warmer, well, at least he'll always have that arena fodder potential. Follow that up with some piercing blue robot eyes just to remind you that, yes, this is yet another Iron Man character. And a quaint expression that says that, yes, I am only going to go for 35 million points. Now, if you want to go the extra mile and just add that little bit extra personality and flavor to your drawing here you can give him the big 80s shoulder pads like he's a football player encourage a little fella to follow his dreams my dream is that there's a new tech champion out there who i'm going to be excited to play and rank up we've waited so long for someone to use all our resources on but we'll give him the shoulder pads for the inevitable bruising he's going to take from every single Cosmic Champion and looking at you, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Just fleshing out the last few minute details here to make sure that this Iron Man Champion doesn't get confused with Iron Patriot, seeing as how they have basically the exact same character profile and design. But no, this is a unique, special butterfly. He actually has abilities, can do damage, has interesting aspects, and is not immediately a meme. And there we are, everybody, our happy little portrait of Silver Centurion, full of hope and potential, going out there into the big wide worlds and arenas and crystals. If you're going for this guy, I wish you the best of luck, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Rob Von Chu, everybody. Take care, all.